Well, I'm feeling smug because I put the gearbox in yesterday. Uh, the weather didn't actually look too bad for today, but it's absolutely steaming it down. So I'm glad I did that last night. And even though I'm now having to work on a Saturday, at least the car is a little bit further along. Well, the rain has stopped. Most of this has dried out now because it's been quite windy. So I'm going to get back under the car, bolt in the slave cylinder and check that's working before I get any further. Um, and then put the prop back on, do the exhaust, blah, 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 and see if I can get it on the ground and drive it. Nothing is simple. We have a problem. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get a video of this, but basically the rod that goes from the clutch fork and should be coming out through this hole to engage with the slave cylinder has got stuck and I didn't realise when I bolted the gearbox on so it's now butted up against the inside of here and I can't get to it at the moment I'm gonna have to either get some sort of bent screwdriver and flick it out or the worst that will have to be done is to take the gearbox off again move it back and then free the thing and then try and push it on while holding the rod up which is going to be pretty damn hard or the other thing that's occurred to me is I can drill a very small hole here and then just tap it up with a screwdriver so first off I'm going to try and do it without any of the like more involved repairs and I'll just try and flick it out with a screwdriver or something no sooner as I started doing that it pissed it down in rain again uh, so while it's raining, I'm going to go and find a piece of metal that I can bend up to a shape that I think I'll be able to lever that rod out with. Trying to free it off. I've been using a bent screwdriver and I can move it around the circumference, but I can't get under it to lift it up over that lip. So I have made the decision, partly because I'm grumpy, pissed off and wet, uh, and partly because it's gonna you know it, it's bodgery but it's manageable bodgery because i am gonna drill a hole but i see it as weight saving for that additional performance and also it'll let water out if water gets in there so it's only really gonna be a small hole and hopefully it saves me another hour or so of pulling the gearbox off and putting it back on again okay hole is drilled and if you look up in there you can just see the rod so the idea is now put a screwdriver through and tap it up and hopefully all should be good well thank fuck for that we have the rod and it all seems to be still connected to something on the inside end so i am very very happy i'm less happy about the rain because it's really pissing down now and although i'm under the car i will have to come out at some point uh, yeah, I'm going to get wet. Right, so I'm now in my nice dry car tent with it pissing down in the rain outside. Clutch pedal feels good, feels normal. So, I'm going to try and squeeze my hand down there. Okay, I'm on the output shaft and I can't turn it. Put the foot down on the clutch and lo and behold, I can turn the gearbox. Ah, perfect. Good. I'm very happy. I've got a working clutch for the first time since I've had the car. So I can put the selector back in, put the prop on, do the exhaust up temporarily, reconnect the speedo sensor, a few other bits and pieces like that, and then theoretically I can go for a drive. But because I'm a tease, I'm going to go home now because it's wet, it's actually quite cold and I really can't be bothered. You know I said it was raining before, well now it's really, really raining. But I'm going to get this clutch slave on. This is my nice shiny new one with the braided line. The line still isn't rooted properly yet, it's really baggy and slack, but I still, I'll sort all that out when it's actually driving um, but yeah I'm gonna bolt this on and then check the operation of the clutch before I bother with the prop or anything else I'm hoping that I can put my hand through the hole up there where the selector goes and grab the output shaft the gearbox is in gear so hopefully if I 
try and turn it now. You can't turn the gearbox over because the clutch is holding it to the engine, which of course is preventing that from turning. But if I go in the car now and press my foot on the pedal, hopefully all of this will work and I should be able to return turn the uh, output shaft. This might take a while. It's the day after. Um, so I know the clutch is working. Now I'm just putting the um, prop and the exhaust back on. One thing I didn't quite cover in the other video was talking up the rear nut on the output shaft. I have put sealer around it because when I took a look at the front side of the prop, you could see all the oily dregs. Where are we? In there. So yeah, clearly it was leaking. Um, and it can only have got in there from coming out past the nut. So I've uh, degreased it all and then put sealer on the nut and the washer, so it should be good. And then I've torqued it up, and it has to be torqued to 205 newton meters, which is a lot. So in order to stop the engine rotating, I put an old bolt and then this big ugly lever bar in there, and then torqued it against that, so that's all done up nicely. And get rid of that old bolt, and then put the prop in. Look at this. Gear. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's well overdue. This is my first. Oh, that didn't sound too good. It's going to say my first controlled drive in the car. That does not sound good. I'll have to check what that is. I think that noise might just be a bit of the exhaust where I've temporarily bodged it. But there we have it. Semi running and driving car. The first time in a long time. So I'm just going to run it around the car park a few times. And um, I don't know, play really. Damn it. All that work and the gearbox sounds absolutely awful. So whoever it was who said why am I not having it all rebuilt while it's out? They were probably right, annoyingly. Basically, sounds like a bag of loose spanners. So that's, well, I think it's input shaft to the gearbox, which is odd because there was absolutely no play in it whatsoever. But when you drive the car, Hear that as soon as it's under load. Sounds truly dreadful. So yeah, I'm gonna park it up and then feel sorry for myself, I think. 